get our uh get our frag grenades and check a grenade at this clown. this way. I was gonna say the same thing as the others. Checking all the terminals just in case I find one that's got more of that treasure hunt information on it. Here we go, number three. All right. This one's gonna be prime number 113. Ooh, get passcode. Okay, nice job, Jigs. I knew you'd remember the good old days. The loot is in the security office safe in the upper part of the West Wing. Use the terminal up there to get in. Enjoy your share, pal. You earned it. Meet me in the old diner outside the Jury Street Metro Station. See you there. Good luck, Prime. Because it was a super mutant master. No wonder. Is this the satellite dish we need? It's lit up nice and pretty with a flag next to it. I bet it is. That's a cool shot right there. Yeah, I got some sunglasses on. I picked up from this guy named Sam Warwick. He's a random encounter, apparently. I wondered who he was and why he had a name, but I looked him up, and he's just some random dude that shows up at some point in the game and tries to kill you. And apparently he's pretty high level and hard to kill, but I didn't have a hard time killing him because he was distracted by a bunch of raiders. And I think they probably helped <laughs> whittle down his health or something. I came up behind him while he was shooting at raiders, and I shot him. But I took his sunglasses. He had some nice sunglasses. All right, we got my trusty rusty rifle here. All right, activate communications dish. It appears to be easy to remove. Take it or do nothing. Uh-oh, if I take it, am I gonna get my ass attacked all of a sudden? Now I must find the Washington Monument. I already did that. On July 16th, 1969, the Virgo 2 lunar lander Valiant 11 became the very first manned space vehicle to touch down on the moon. The Valiant 11's crew consisted of Captain Richard Wade, Captain Mark Garris, and Captain Michael Hagen. Oh, like Fort Hagen in Fallout 4? Of the USSA, we salute these brave and noble men who took the first steps on a planetary body other than our own. Okay. Is it possible to take this flag too? Can I pick up this flag? Come on, I want the flag! Alright, let's go up the stairs. To the gallery.
gallery here. Oop, there's the TV. Classic Fallout TV. for Tech Museum. Yeah, I'll take it. I wonder if we could use that key to open that door whose lock I couldn't pick. Way up in the other room. Okay, well this door. Use the key? What's up here then? Oh! Yeah, this is the door. This is the door I was talking about. That I couldn't pick the lock. In here with the Delta rocket. Ah, this is the very door. I was like, well we should try this key on the door. Well, there we go. Now we can get through right here and bypass, I guess, a bunch of other stuff if we want to. We've looked all around here. Now the next way to go is down this way. All right, well, let's just start here. maintenance person left here a tin can and a turpentine oh this might be where the uh, the treasure is hidden Just skeletal hands. Any magazines or anything useful in here? Museum of Tech Security. Security bulletin. All right. Antique weapons for the firearms exhibit. I think we already read these. I'd like to request that all riot gear and security firearms be moved to the new gun locker in the planetarium research office. Keys should be carried by the duty shift supervisor and left in the security office safe when shift changes occur. Gala dinner will be held in the atrium on November 1st, 2077. Well, I think that's like a week after the bombs fell. So that never happened. Two hundred bottle caps. Buff out gun locker key and psycho. I will take it. Thank you. Keep going. Let's see where this ends up. Oh, yeah, that had to be the planetarium security office because this is the planetarium here. Okay. Well, this is cool. They've made a planetarium. For as long as oh, geez, history has been me. recorded, man has had an insatiable hunger for knowledge regarding <gasps> the universe. Oh, it works! 
It's even a working planetarium. Holy crap. In this unknown expanse oh, shit. That was a bit glitchy. Oh, that scared the bejesus out of me. I was trying to enjoy the nice planetarium. location and a unique you know a, a unique contraption this whole museum is very unique to understand why man is so interested in this unknown expanse of space around our little world oh that's so cool journey please Sit back, relax, and free yourself from the bonds of our planet as we take off for the stars. Star. Planet as we stars. Stars. I'm just enjoying this. This is so cool. It's so unique. For as long as history has been recorded, man has oh. insatiable hunger for knowledge regarding the door here. To understand why man is so interested Ooh. in this unknown. Or... Planetarium Terminal. Oh dang, here we go. Okay. Might be that one. Got it. Unlock planetarium exit. Okay. Could not locate door to unlock. So I hacked into a terminal to unlock a door that doesn't exist? That's it? Really? I leveled up to level 9. <laughs> this game is weird sometimes. one in small guns. All right, I'm going to go with that. All right, so do I want to do do I want to carry more? Yeah, I do want to carry more. All right, I'm going for it. All right, what do we find here? More assault rifles. Wow, missiles, missile launcher. And pulse grenades. See, I needed that strong back perk right there. The more I can carry, the more I can sell. I am a scaver. And that is my favorite thing. Just picking up junk. Alright, now we gotta go to the Washington Monument and put up the satellite dish. Myra, you will not believe all the goodies I have for you. Well, how do you feel? I'm, I'm fine. Let's see what we can do here. All right, I have a metal helmet that if she repairs it, will have a damage resistance of four. Or I have a motorcycle helmet that if she repairs it, will have a damage resistance of four. All right, let's fix that up. Let's go ahead and fix this one up too. I'm gonna take a look at it, see which one I like better. I'll go ahead and fix that. 
Uh, that doesn't improve the damage at all, so I won't bother. Alright, so right now I have... I have the motorcycle helmet on. It has goggles on the top of it, but I'm wearing sunglasses, so, you know. <laughs> there is that. Uh, let's see. I could put on biker goggles. Doesn't change my purse perception or anything like that. I think in Fallout 4 all the different eyewear gives you plus one to perception. This does not. Alright, I've got double goggles going. Double goggles. I like it. It's kind of silly, but I like it. Right, let's look at the other helmet. I look like I need to get on a dirt bike. That looks pretty cool, but I don't like the fact that it covers my mouth. Of course, that would be better protection in the wasteland, wouldn't it? Alright, let's look at... Get that with sunglasses. Let's look at all the combinations. Yeah, I think I'm going to ditch the sunglasses and go with the biker goggles. But if I wear biker goggles, it's gonna look kind of- it looks kind of silly having the goggles on the helmet and the goggles on my face. I wish the motorcycle helmet didn't have goggles on it. I like the way it looks, but I don't want it having goggles if I'm gonna wear the goggles, you know? It is a pretty cool looking helmet and it would make sense in the wasteland to have protection around my face. Why the heck not? 